動開始How's it going, everybody? Pig Bay here. Um, sorry if I sound a little different. Uh, I'm feeling a little under the weather, but I wanted to get this review out to kind of help people with their decision with the Tulsa. All right, so the USS Tulsa, tier nine premium. Essentially, it's a Des Moines with one less gun per turret. So you're rocking six guns, 203s, but they reload every five seconds. So it's a second faster than Des Moines, but you also got rapid reload too which brings it down to like 3.4 seconds. Along with Rapid Reload 2, you're also getting DFA 2, two charges of Smoke 2, and one charge of Radar 2. Now for Legendary Commanders, you can use either Kincaid or Halsey. Both work, it just depends on what you want. You want a little more utility with Kincaid's, you know, Radar charges and his uh, Defensive Fire Alert, or do you want more damage with Halsey? So in this game right here, it is a respawn game. I am running main battery reload, minus 5%, and then propulsion in slot two, along with a reduction to surface detection in slot three. Um, I didn't really notice any loss of um, main battery, and I just wanted to see how fast the reload can get down to, and with the rapid reload, it gets down to a three second reload base, like three seconds flat. Now without rapid reload and this build, you're sitting at a 4.7 second reload. Even with your six guns, that is enough to start plenty of fires, especially when it's sitting at 8%. For anti-aircraft fire, uh, better than Seattle and better than Baltimore both. So that is a nice touch. But I would say the main gimmick of this boat is having that rapid reload, being able to have three second reloads is nothing to scoff at even with your six guns now here's what i mean i'm currently tunnel visioned onto this minnesota and i do not notice the st louis popping up pretty much full health so i go ahead pop my rapid reload booster and i just start blasting away with my secondaries and my main battery of course we have some help but i'm able to dish out about 16k damage in the span of 15 seconds so yes, the ship doesn't have the Alpha Strike like some other ships, but it has the DPM. Um, not only that, you can set a lot of fire. You'd be surprised the amount of fires you can set with six guns. But honestly, you can go either way with using AP or HE. Uh, long range, I like to use HE, but when we get up and close, especially with battleships too, I'll just pop AP into their nose and just get full pens because you could put out a significant amount of damage too. But not only that, with the help of your smoke, you can sit there and freely do it, for the most part, unless you're facing a good player who can shoot in smoke and see where your turrets are firing from, you can freely do it in most scenarios. Now, one of the, my little gripes and concerns is that the armor piercing is too good sometimes. Um, I find myself over penetrating DDs a lot more often than not. Um, so it forces me to use HE on DEs and you know the damage is not bad especially when you pop your rapid reload boost You can really burst someone down, but I'm used to firing AP at any DD and Yeah, you really I feel like you can't do it that much with this ship Now the ship is currently in a sonar sweep and those with the experience of the sonar sweep know that you know It can cost a pretty penny so is it worth it? I mean, you're gonna have to kind of decide for yourself. I think the only saving grace with the Sonar Suite right now is that there is an event for spending money. So if you end up spending buku money to get this ship, you essentially get a black Graf Zeppelin pretty much with it. So you're, you're getting, with this you know event, you're getting two ships. So that is a decision you're gonna have to make on your own. I can't really sway you. I can only show you the facts and show you gameplay on it. Anywho, guys, that is, I feel like crap, man. Um, that's going to go ahead and do it for me talking at least. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. But, yeah, until next time. Oh,
Shit. 